Hi, this is Lyme Macedo speaking to you from LymeMacedo.com. And who's LymeMacedo.com? Today the date is uh, November 26, 2014. The time is 6.03 in the morning. Couldn't sleep, so I just thought I'll put up a couple of videos. Today's video is about um, bullshit. <laughs> it's about bullshit. Uh, the most overused strategy that the world follows. Now, what do I mean by bullshit? For example, now, if you, I'll give you this businessman. He's pretty famous in uh, the Middle East. He's very famous. I don't want to take his name because I don't want to get sued. So this guy, uh, when he comes for interviews in uh, Arabic forums, okay, this guy, when he is asked the question, and he, I saw it on YouTube, when he was asked the question, how did you become so successful? So he says, I became successful because of Allah. And he raises his hand and says, Allah blessed me. It goes like this. Okay. <laughs> so don't, don't get me wrong. Okay. Don't get me wrong. Just, just listen up. There's nothing wrong in giving glory to God. Okay. And mind you, his, um, uh, so this is the answer he gave. When he went to uh, parts of India and he was asked the same question. So how did you become successful? He says, Bhagwan, Bhagwan, Shiva Bhagwan, Ganesh Bhagwan, they bless me. They, Durga Ma put the blessing, love, that is Goddess Durga put the blessing on my head. Okay. So suddenly from Allah it changed to Lord Shiva and Ganesh and all that. Okay. And uh, just a few days ago, I kind of saw him... Uh, he was speaking at a business conference, which was, you know, leaders from around the world had come. And uh, <laughs> he was asked the same question again. So what do you account your success? So he says, hard work and focus, strategy and uh, having great teams. That is what made me successful. So one man, three different places, three different areas. Now, if you actually um, speak to people who have worked with him, Okay, and uh, his history is known. His history is known very well. He is, uh, you know, he didn't actually follow the straight path. He had a lot of uh, strategies which he, uh, you know, would not talk about, would not speak about, would not share. And you can't put it in the papers. You can't put it in the media. I mean, a lot of shady deals, a lot of funny stuff he was done. And yes, the factor of luck. But... If you ask him on different forums, he'll give different answers. Now, if you actually look at it, everyone bullshits. Let's look at President Obama. President Obama keeps saying, change. We're going to have that change. What change? The only change you got was quarters. The only change you got of Guantanamo Bay, he said it's going to close down. It's still, the, sh the shit is still running. We are going to stop war. We are going to get our, our brothers and sisters back home. And well, he has initiated another war. Uh, then he also mentioned, we are going to decrease the taxes. Taxes have been, I don't think, decreased. We are going to rise up as a nation. And, uh, well, the only thing that has risen up is all sorts of problems. So, and he still speaks about change. And uh, it's bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. If you look at, um, I'll give you another example. There was this uh, female... Uh, I don't want to give a nationality again because it's, I'll get uh, slapped for the fact that, you know, I'm segregating a particular nationality. But this girl told me, I'm looking for love. I'm really looking for love. Someone understanding someone really good hearted. That's all. I don't care of external factors. And as we started to be friends, one fine day she tells me, Loy, um, you know, a guy like you, how would I introduce someone like you to my family? You're fully tattooed. What would society think? So suddenly from good heart it became she wants someone who fits into being good in society. Then as we started to speak one fine day she opened up and said, Loy, I need someone who's financially equal to me because you know we need to manage expenses so others how. So I don't want someone who's a burden. I want someone who's above me. So then the money part came up. And um, uh, yesterday, yesterday when we were talking uh, she agreed on the fact that uh, he should have a UK or US passport. Why? Because she, you know, she wants a better life for her children. 
So now nationality came into the equation. But if you ask her directly, she'll only say, I want a good heart. I want someone who loves me and I will not judge a person on external factors. And if you actually look at guys, even guys, guys are always, they will, you meet any guy on the planet, he'll say, I'm looking for a friend. I'm looking for someone who has a good heart. I'm looking for someone who I can spend my life with, have children. But actually what the guy wants is a pair of nice titties and a nice ass and a good body. And he'll have sex with her until he gets fed up and then he'll go for other women. So that is what guys normally look for. So what am I trying to tell you? Everyone bullshits. Everybody bullshits. They bullshit on their CVs, resumes. You see any resume on this planet, all the resumes, they are hardworking, they are focused, they are an asset to the company, but once they get employed, they hardly work. They bullshit on their resumes. They bullshit during interviews. So my weakness, my weakness is that I focus very hard on my work. So hard that my family life suffers and I'm a workaholic. Yes. Oh, you're such an asset. People bullshit... Uh, when they go out in society, man and woman, when they're married, they show that they're very happy. They show, see, we're having a perfect marriage, but inside the house, they fight like cats and dogs. Um, you know, so what am I trying to tell you here? What am I trying to tell you? The fact of the matter is the whole world bullshits. Everybody bullshits. Everybody bullshits. If you're honest, you're stupid. Why? Because honesty is not the best policy. So now, what is the core message I'm trying to give you here? The core message that I'm trying to give you here is honesty in today's world does not work. It's not all, it's not just, it's no more diplomacy. It's about having the discernment. It's about having the maturity to understand what you need to say, where, when and how in order to sell because everyone is selling a service. Everyone is selling a product. Everyone is selling themselves. So now you would definitely say, so Lloyd, that means you are a bullshitter. Yes, I'm a bullshitter. Well, because when people come to me, I imagine, imagine, let me give you an example. Client comes to me and says, um, I want to change. I want to improve. Okay. Can you be my coach? Now, when I look at them, believe me, in seconds, I can make out whether they'll change or not. Uh, it's, it's very easy through experience again. Now imagine if I tell the guy, nah man, listen, you're a bunch of, you're an idiot, you're a loser, you, you can't change. And um, then he takes the money, whatever he had and, you know, he goes to someone else who tells him, yes, I see a great potential in you. You can change. Give me the thousand bucks, I'll make you change. So because of my honesty, I just lost a thousand bucks. And the people who can change, who really can change. They would not, uh, you know, what I've noticed is the people who can change, they'll go to the coach and they'll change and then they stop coaching. So if I have only people who change and show results, I'll never get repeat customers. So I need people who are sick, even doctors, even doctors for that matter. A doctor will always tell you, okay, now that you have fever, I want you to have a blood test. I want you to have a urine test. I want you to have a saliva test. I want you to have an x-ray. I want you to have also, you know, some other test. Why does he give all this test? Because for everything he gets, um, you know, a target because they write the doctor's name and they write how much revenue they calculate. Okay, this much revenue has come from this doctor because that is how business runs. Everyone bullshit and people also bullshit with each other. Most of the people bullshit, uh, like for example, most of my videos, people want to criticize and say, oh, he's racist, he's this and that. But secretly, they themselves are racist. If, you, if they see someone who is from a different nationality or color, they'll look funny, different religion. They're not perfect, but they will look at other people's faults and not themselves. And they bullshit to themselves, I'm a good human being. So, bottom line, it's just this. We all bullshit. In this world, everyone bullshits. If you don't know the art of bullshitting, you'll not survive. And if you're honest, well, you'll be crucified. So, what my message to you is, if you don't want to bullshit, don't bullshit. You want to be honest, be honest. However, have the, have the wisdom, the wisdom and discernment to know when to say what, how to say it, and in what manner to say it. Because if you can master this art, who knows, maybe you'll be another Richard Branson, Barack Obama, or who knows, like that great businessman who said in one forum, Allah is blessed. Me. And when he went to an Indian forum, Durga Ma, Durga Ma and Lord Shiva put her, put their hand on my head and that's how I succeeded. And when he went to a foreign 
you know, they're all foreigners and educated people are there. Oh yes, I succeeded because of strategy and um, uh, good, great teams. Well, maybe we can make uh, an argument that all three factors, Durga Ma and Allah and strategy and everything, maybe, maybe. But then the question is, why didn't he say this everywhere? Well, because he knew he needed to say the right information at the right place to sell to the right crowd. So this is what I say. This is what I think. It's like uh, if you ask any, uh, you know, if you see Shah Rukh Khan, any of the film actors, nobody will say they use steroids. Nobody will say that I had a hair transplant. Nobody will say I took Botox injection. Nobody will say I slept with the director in order to get the movie. Uh, nobody will say all these things. Um, so it's a world of bullshit and we all bullshit. So should I tell you the truth or should I give bullshit? You decide. Live from LoyMesido.com and who's LoyMesido.com sharing his views on the world filled with bullshit. Say your views. Let me know what you think. Love to hear from you. Goodbye for now.